Okay, so we're going to quickly review the Miles Garrett situation here. Okay, so we all know this part. We all know that was bad, but that's not why Garrett's being uh, indefinitely suspended. He's being indefinitely suspended for backing up. Now you can see here, Rudolph is just totally going for Garrett. Garrett's got the helmet at his side. Now we're going to start advancing frame by frame. I want to show you what's happening. Look at his feet. These feet are all aggressing. They're all going toward Garrett. Garrett is backpedaling, okay? He's backpedaling. He's not doing anything with the helmet. He has just hit. Rudolph has just hit Garrett with both of his arms. He's grabbed his upper body with both of his arms. He's still back. Look, his knees are actually even in. They're in. They're, 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 he's not kneed right now. That's not the position you get in when you're, when you're trying to hit somebody. He's driving. Look at his feet. Look at his feet. Look at, look at that force. He's backpedaling. He's powering forward. He's, Rudolph is the aggressor here. The helmet is at his side. Right now, Rudolph has both of his hands on Garrett's shoulder, shoulder pad and one on the face mask. Now, this guy's coming in. Now, you know, Garrett sees everything. He's got a, uh, Rudolph has a crazed look on his face. And if you look at the other angles, he looks like Freddy Krueger. Okay, without the helmet, you got this guy with this crazed look on his face. You've got other guys coming in now. So it's one, two, three, four, five guys Garrett is dealing with. He's backpedaling. The helmet is limp at his side. You can't assault somebody when you're backpedaling. Backpedaling. See? Backpedaling. Still back. But at this point, <coughs> right here, he's grabbed him by the face mask. Now you got this lineman powering in. You got two more guys in the background who are now running forward. Even the ref <coughs> is blocking his, his peripheral point of view. So at this point, he's all, and let's go back real quick, a couple frames. Look, look, look at what Rudolph does. Look. Look at that. That's a raised hand. He's raising his hand. See right there. Doesn't that look like he's, like, like, in that frame, listen, well, I'm about to hit this guy. But he didn't. With the raised, he sees the raised hand, he still had the, Garrett still had the presence of mind to back up. He's backing up, see? Look at, look at all these people. They just collided. Everybody's colliding on, on Garrett. Garrett's got his feet knock kneed. Backing up. Still backing up. Still backing up. But by now, he's grabbed them. He's actually pulling on Garrett's helmet. He's still got the hel his, his helmet. He's got the other helmet on his feet. His, he's in a backwards, he's, and he's been going backwards. This started at the 7-yard line. They're down to the, to the three yard line and it's going to keep going backwards. It's going backwards. You can't assault somebody when you're going backwards unless they're attacking you. This is all on Rudolph. This is white privilege. Look where he is. By the way, he's still going backwards. He's still going backwards. Even when he finally lifts the helmet, he's still going backwards because they're driving on him. You can clearly see his hand. That's Rudolph's hand on his face mask. The other hand is on his shoulder pad. That's Rudolph's hand. His arm. I mean, this is just... This is self-defense. Look where he is. He's going backwards. He's literally almost by the goal line now. He's saying, get off me, get away from me. But because they used another camera angle to show the viciousness of the hit, that's all people see. They don't see the motivation for why it happened. You, you, this is wrong. You know, the biggest disrespect all the sports journalists have done, they've disrespected camera people and editing people. I edited for 15 years. 
I edited, edited with over a thousand clients over those 15 years by my side, actually editing their projects. I did camera work during that time as well. I edited my own projects. I edited other people's projects. I'd see the different things. Nobody looked at the feet. You got it. Look at that. If you were actually trying to attack him, you would have been like this going down. He's going, he's on one tippy toe going. He's like, get away from me. This is whack-a-mole. Rudolph was the mole. Rudolph's behavior is so outrageous, and that's why it's white entitlement. He's a total instigator. What you want to do, break this up into two scenes. Break up, up to the point where Garrett ripped the helmet off, although part of that was he was being held by the Pittsburgh Steelers linemen, and I think that had another effect on the whole thing, but whatever. If you think he should be suspended for pulling off the helmet after his own helmet was pulled off and after he was... By the way, one final thing. Garrett did not slam him to the ground. Garrett ended up on the ground first. This is the other thing that's so irritating about this whole thing. If you go back, Garrett, when he tackled him, he was on the ground first. I'm sitting here trying to do this as fast as I can. And this is, I think, oh, they don't show it. What a waste. Okay. Anyway, it's going forward now. This is all about the feet. Driving forward, backpedaling. That's what you do. That's what you're supposed to be looking at for the motivation. And nobody did that. And it's such a disrespect to... That the people who should have been being asked, the sports announcer should have shut up and asked people who actually run cameras and do editing, what do you think about all the angles? And nobody did that. They're all so pretentious that they think that because they're shown an angle, they understand everything. And they, they didn't understand everything. You just, look at that. He's going, look at his, his body. He's going backwards. He's like, get away from me. His hand is on his helmet and it has been there. And the other hand was on the was on the shoulder pad. This is just so outrageous. This this and this is white privilege. This is white privilege. It's saying the white guy can do whatever he wants, and even in retreat, the black guy, the African American, can be the aggressor. That's what the message is being sent. And the fact that nobody's talking about that makes it even worse. So, anyone who said he pulled off his, that Garrett pulled off the helmet and hit him is committing slander. He pulled off the helmet, backed up 15 feet, tried to stop the conflict, and then when it kept escalating, he responded. That's what happened. So all of you who said he pulled the helmet off and, and hit him, you're slandering Miles Garrett, I wish he'd sue all of you.